Welcome knowledge grabbers, you are now entering the world of KYC. Welcome back to the channel and here we are with a new video. This is a viewer's request. Let me tell you, I received a great response on my previous video and thank you so much for your uh, love and affection and the views and also the comments which made me understand what I should be making in my next video. So this particular video is for a viewer and for all of you of course uh, wherein she requested me to make something wherein how to identify and how to screen Chinese names. Now Chinese names specifically uh, would come into APAC. So I will be covering two regions in APAC which is China and India and also um, some Arabic country. Uh, with that, I'll also brief you about how UK and US names should be screened and how to identify what documents are to be used or what documents are to be collected from where will you understand how the name is to be captured. So when before starting off the video, I would again like to thank all of you for your love and support. So let's begin with individual name screening. So this video is specifically in for individual name screening and why individuals because we get a lot of thing confusions while you know understanding what is the first name and the last name it is not that much of a problem in the companies right so uh, once we get to know what is the first name and last name we will be it will be very easy for us to screen all right so and the first thing first and foremost thing why individual name screening is important we need to understand that first okay so i have a few pointers here as for me why individual name screening is important is because of you know mainly two reasons one is to build a risk profile okay until and unless you do not know the name of the customer or the client you won't understand what are we doing on i mean like what are we doing for that particular client one is that build a risk profile and why do we risk a build uh, why do we build a risk profile to understand if that person has some adverse news some political background or has been involved into any fraudulent activities in the past so to risk a uh, to build a risk profile we need the name all right so if you have to summer it up in one sentence so i would say it is to understand the background of the client the name gives you a lot of things right so accordingly we need to know the individual name and why is it important just to understand the background of the client so let's start with the video of how to identify the names and um, which will start with the first country which is our own country india all right so now indian names how do we identify indian names where do we identify indian names from we identify indian names from their government provided id copies now government provided id copies doesn't mean that it is state government okay let me tell you it should be central government provided id copies like government of india not state of Maharashtra or state of Karnataka or state of uh, you know Andhra Pradesh etc so on so forth so what are the acceptable documents the Aadhaar card the PAN card and the passport are the acceptable documents in some scenarios into Indian KYC the driving license can be accepted but into international KYC it is only the central government provided ID copies which will be you know acceptable so usually Indian names are easy to identify for Indian people okay for um, the people who are working in India it will be easy for us to differentiate between the first middle and the last name but for US or you know other countries other than India it gets a bit difficult but we have a bit of provisions in uh, a passport wherein we have segregations of the names so it it gets easy 
for a person to understand what is the first middle and last name but it comes to a tricky situation when it comes to south indian names okay why specifically south indian names and there are some northern uh, regions as well who have this particular uh, you know tradition of not having the last names or if they have a last name they will not completely mention the last name they'll either put an initial to it okay uh they also have initials for their first name and they keep the last name so there are a lot of variations and combinations so if i have to move ahead and show you the samples first and then show you how do we perform screening so these are the samples of the documents which are acceptable for indian names okay so we have the aadhar card we have the passport we have the in, uh, pan card and we have the driving license so driving license if you see it's maharashtra state okay which is not acceptable in international kyc it will be only acceptable uh, maybe you know just for verification purpose but you take it for screening no because you will not be able to understand okay the name plus it is not um a central government id it's a state government id right so these three are central government ids all right so now uh for pan card you have the first middle and last name these are the uh what do you say uh this is the format okay but many of the people who are outside india will not know it so it is acceptable as a passport is uh you know widely acceptable and if you have a passport it is very easy for you to identify the first middle and last name now let's move on to performing screening how would we perform screening on a name wherein i have taken an example of arjun lakshman sharma it is very easy for us to understand wherein the first name would be arjun middle name lakshman and sharma would be the last name now if you have the id it is very good you will be able to understand but if you do not have an id it is still easy to understand arjun lakshman sharma sharma would be the last name you can you know juggle between arjun and lakshman you can do a variation now for south indian names i have taken three examples which is s ramakrishnan ramakrishnan gopalan s and ramakrishnan gopalan so if we have to move ahead and see how do we perform uh, screening on these names it will be in variations and combinations okay so this is the first variation where i have taken a name as s ramakrishnan variation one would be ramakrishnan and 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 then a vice versa all right the example two is ramakrishnan gopalan wherein we'll have only one uh, name put in wherein it is first name ramakrishnan gopalan so now you'll ask me a question why there is no variation here because we have full names we do not have initials okay so the tool will capture both the names and send you hits for both the names in any which ways it will be for both the names or it will be for one of them so it will put you a hit on that all right so against it if you have an id copy and you know you have your proofs you can perform screening and mitigate things now for s ramakrishnan gopalan we have three variations we have the first name ramakrishnan gopalan and last name s and then um, the first name would be s the middle name would be ramakrishnan and last name would be gopalan and then the reverse of it the, we go for middle name as s gopalan last name and ramakrishnan as the first name we can have one more variation wherein we can have ramakrishnan as the last name and gopalan as the uh, first name so that depends upon you um if you want to go ahead but if you have the id copy if you have a clear picture wherein what is the first middle and last name you don't have to do these variations also but this is just an example to how we'll do it all right let's move on to uk and us names so uk and us names these are also uh, names which we need to identify from their government provided id copies what are the government provided id copies are their health card their passport uh, their driving license because uh, in uk the uk government provides the driving license the central government not the state government but for us 
there is state government so for us it will not be acceptable and the utility bill utility bill is nothing but their um, house tax water tax uh, phone bills or you know um, some kind of bill wherein they are using a service from the government so now um, they have sections for first middle and last name in their passport uh as well as for uh, us you will find a differentiation so we'll discuss the differentiation in the next slide which is a full stop or a dot and a comma okay so now if you see this particular uh table wherein i have mentioned the name separated by a dot and separated by a comma now what is the difference is adam m dot mckenzie so whatever name is before the dot will be treated as the first and the middle name that is the order and anything after the dot would be the last name similarly separated by a comma here it is a vice versa anything before the comma would be the last name and anything after the comma would be the first and the middle name so this is how the order is for uk and us names there are such names wherein we'll see it in the next slide where we see the samples okay now in the sample if you see we have the passport we have the uk driving license and we have the new york state driving license so in the passport of united states it is very easy and the uk passport is also kind of similar it is very easy to identify the first and the uh, last name and the given names would be with the first name itself with the date of birth and everything now if we talk about driving license in uk they have a sample uh, where in noel black 1 and 2 so 1 represents the first name and 2 represents the last name so i'll give you the links uh, for the samples in the description box of this video please go ahead and check the samples so you will be able to relate it for new york state now it is separated by a comma if you see here sample comma license it is separated by a comma now if you remember the last slide we had mentioned anything before the comma would be the last name anything after the comma would be the first and the middle name so you can identify along with that now how do we screen these names okay performing screening so if it is very easy if you have a dot you know what is the first name if, and if you have a comma you know what is the last name so it will be easy for you to you know differentiate the first middle and last and here also the first middle and last name and you perform screening you input the name and you perform screening on that now we move to the interesting topic and for which we are making this video which was requested the chinese names now the chinese names the id which will be accepted will be from the government which is people's republic of china or also known as prc if it is issued by them we can accept it so now what comes under that it we we have uh, the citizen card or the nationality card or national card what they call and the driving license or the passport okay but mainly two documents which is a passport and the citizen card which is acceptable now why do we have a problem with chinese names is because uh, when you translate it you will not realize what is the first and the last name or the middle name so here is you know an ice breaker to how do we identify so not all documents will have the first and the last name it gets a bit difficult so as we said not all the names would be uh, will be able to identify the first and the last name so uh, to make it easier we need to understand uh, how do we make use of the document or you know uh, the translator so keep in mind any time if you are dealing with a chinese name search for capital letters any capital letter would represent their last name okay 
because that is the arrangement of the chinese name so i have given an example of zhang chen and wang xiu uh, so they keep their family name first and then the given name and hence if it is capital you will understand it's the last name there is more to the identification of the first and the last name with capital it will be bold now this will only be in cases where you are receiving a document of like an annual report or some moa or aoa it's only then they'll have a bold letter and a capital letter for their last names and rest would be the first name uh, so if you see the chinese character does not have a space hence it gets difficult so the translator will uh, whoever translates it for you will easily give you the first and the last name and the last name would be in capital okay now um, as i said they have an arrangement so any time the chinese name have the uh, last name at the beginning and then followed by the first name so there are also scenarios wherein they'll have some english names uh, along with their chinese names just for you know people who are uh, working with us uh, representatives or you know us companies uh, they would like them to be called by the english name which will be easy okay so sample of the documents uh, would be one the national id card and the other would be the passport so now in the passport you'll be able to easily understand that yang comma zhao uh, is the name and yang would be the uh, last name because it's before the comma and same is for uh, zheng jian comma before the comma it would be the last name so these are the samples so performing screening we have now three examples wherein we have the last name uh in the capital multiple first names and the last names with the comma so these are a few examples here wherein i have taken li zi yong and how do we perform the screening for uh, it it will be very easy it will be li zi yong okay and multiple first names huan ming zi and then last name would be chang uh because we have a comma we can identify that there is a difference so uh first name huan meizing okay as it is given and then the other variation would be huan chang and then there can be another variation of meizi chang um as well you can do a variation with that as well uh last name with the comma so you will be able to understand yung meizi so according to that we'll perform screening now performing screening on uh the english names okay if we have chinese and english names in that so i have taken an example of sam li yong sam li zi yong and yong sam li zi so there is no difference into these two names it is just that i have put the last name before and then the first name so variations here would be um sam li first name and yong the last name variation 2 would be only sam yong and variation 3 would be only li yu and the other variation would be li zi yu which will satisfy for both okay for this also it uh, here it will be satisfied all right so this is the way you will do for chinese names now we move to arabic names so arabic names are the most difficult names to identify because their id copies will also not have a differentiation of uh, you know the first middle and last name so you have to end up going to the client and asking sir ma'am what would be your first name and last name and you need to explain to why are you asking that and it is very different from the western culture so as that is why i mentioned you'll have to go back to the client and the variations are very different for these names because uh, it gets very difficult to identify the first and the middle and the last name and there are names which are similar there are people which are similar so you'll get a lot of hits okay high levels of variation is required uh there can be spelling mistakes or you know spelling errors or maybe you know uh similar pronunciations but the spellings would be different so mohammed uh there's a different way of writing mohammed uh and then you have one word difference abdul and abdullah okay abdul we have an h abdullah we do not have an h 
so on so forth there are many examples like that so <clears throat> identification would be from their government ids but again you will not get the first middle and last name okay it is very difficult to get the first middle and last name and so we end up you know asking uh, from the client or getting something from the annual report maybe <clears throat> so samples if you see we have the id card the national id card and then the passport and in the passport also you will find the full name and in the id card also it's the full name so it gets a bit um difficult it gets a bit uh, confusing all right now for an example i have taken a confirmation from the client and he has given me the first middle and the last name so <clears throat> as as i have uh, these names abu hamza al masri and mohammad abu hamza al masri uh, wherein the client said okay al masri is my last name okay and rest would be my first name now how do i identify what is the first name okay so what i did is i took a lot of variations which we'll see in the next slide and rest would be my first name so what variations i'll do according to that uh, i'll do a variation of abu hamza al masri then only abu and al masri and then hamza al masri so to understand we you know we do not get hit on either of it because he has confirmed al masri is my last name similarly here uh, mohammad abu hamza al masri so one would be mohammad abu hamza abu hamza mohammad okay al masri would stay constant so this is the way we'll uh, do screening for arabic names but again uh arabic names as i said are very very difficult to perform screening and understand the first and the middle and the last name hence we'll have to take help from a translator we have to take help from the client we have to take help from the um smes to understand how we have to do it this is just a basic guide that i'll be giving it to you but for detailed information you can anytime reach up to me So here we are with the end of our session. Hope you enjoyed the session and hope uh, this solved a lot of questions that you had in regarding with the names. And if you require any more videos, any more content related to screening, please do let me know in the comment box and do let me know how did you find the video. Do also let me know if you need any other topics than screening. or any specific topic within screening or any specific topic within cdd edd anything i would be very happy to help you out and prepare something wherein you will be able to understand and grow your knowledge so thank you so much for your time and efforts and we'll meet soon